All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honors and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, 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 the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honors to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe, but to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. This lesson is going to be called the truth, right, of the scriptures, the truth, which is Yahweh Shai, right, it shatters the reality, the false reality and the worldly aspirations of this world. This is what happens when you wake up to the truth, right, and people hate that because people want to be fed lies, people want to be fed falsehoods. Right, but but part of becoming a man is accepting truth, accepting things for what they are, not what you want them to be, not what you conjure up in your head. Right, so we're gonna start off on. There's a lot I want to get out. Let's start on first John. Right, one. Okay. Excuse me. Second Peter three. And. Start at five. For this they willingly are ignorant. Right? Willingly ignorant. And that word ignorant goes into idiotas in the Greek. Not to want to know. So the people they hear what we're saying. They watch our video secretly. They monitor us. But they want to live a lie. Right? And that lie is gonna ultimately get them destroyed. That by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water, and in the water, in the time of what Noah, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. That was the that represent that was the first death, right? The second one this time is going to be by nuclear missiles. But the heavens and earth, which are now this present time, by the same word are kept in store. When you keep something in store, you're holding it back for an appointed time. Reserved unto fight against a day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. So you wonder why there's a lot of people on the earth today because they have to get judged. Right? And it's going to be reserved unto fire. And that fire is going to be in a, by means of what? World War Three. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. So we're not supposed to be ignorant. If these people want to, ignorant, want to be ignorant, you let them be ignorant. One day of the Lord is with, as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day, right? Just like yesterday. The Lord, Yahweh, is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, right? Because people may say, well, no, we don't believe it's going to happen. Well, just look what's happening. Everything's speeding up. Time is speeding up. But it's long suffering. To us would not willing that any should perish but all should come to repentance but we know not all the other people going to come to repentance but the day of the lord will come as a thief in the night and that's why we watch continually in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise how is the heavens going to pass away with a great noise through their missiles it's going to be a great fluttering noise pop, 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 pop. but you're going to hear you're going to hear that noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat and you go into that word fervent, hot, glowing, intense, glowing. And what's going to cause that? Their missiles that are going to be shot by Iran, Russia. The first place it could be here is going to be America. And some, some may say, see, um, uh, we need to put them on the list now. Don't you think that's a bit extreme? It's what the scriptures say. That's all we're speaking. We're, we're speaking the oracles of Yahweh by Yisham, Yahweh Shai. But people are threatened by this because they want to continue to live a lie and to uphold this wicked system that don't care about you right and the element shall melt with fervent heat right everything you see around you every gadget you have around you whether it's your bike whether it's um a cupboard whether it's your fridge whether it's a door all the elements are going to melt all right with fervent heat and the earth and all sort of works that are therein shall be burned up the works of the things that have in the earth, they're going to be burned up completely. Right? Verse 11, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation? 
So the prophets, the elect, the hopeful elect, what manner were they going to be in knowing that these things are going to be dissolved? They were going to be thinking on what? Godly spiritual things, not carnal things of this world. Right? But you got these people, they're trying to attain everything they have here. Because they're scared to lose it, but you're going to lose it anyway. Even look at the market, the market's being crashed. Everything is being digitalized. So it's all going to head to this particular moment when you go to Revelations 13 and 16. It says, cause if all both small, great, rich, poor, free, bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And these people are going to take it. Why? Because it's for security. They want to feel secure. Right? And not just because of that, because if they don't take it, then how are they going to survive? Right? So the whole infrastructure, that's already being set up. It's already being set up around us. Just look around you. Right? And they're going to push this thing in very soon. And life is going to change drastically, right? And this event, these missiles are going to hit shortly after Esau implements this, this chip. And it says, looking for and hasten to the coming of the day of the Most High, when the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The elect are going to believe in this, so the elect are going to have a certain mind frame. They're not going to be of this world. As James says in James, what for? The love of this world is informed for the love of the world is enmity with the most high. I don't want to be a lover. I don't want to be a friend of this world. Right? It's better to be isolated. It's better to be looked at a certain way than to be destroyed with demons. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and new earth. Where we dwell with righteousness. That's what we're looking for. Right? But you got these people, they got all these plans about what, what, what they want to do. What does it say in Psalms 49 and 11? The inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and dwell in place to all generations and they call their lands after their own names. So they, they have plans of being there forever. That's where you have what the transhumanism agenda. Right? Yes, they have an agenda. Are they going to go through with it? Of course. But it's not going to all go to plan. Your house is going gonna, gonna to put an end to it. But I want to go to James. This is James 5. Okay. And go straight to verse 13. Go to now, ye that say today or tomorrow we will go to such a city. And that's the mentality the most of this world has. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. They have plans. Got people. When I hear someone saying, well, you know, in the next two years we're going to be doing this, I think. You're thinking about two years. You don't even know what's going to happen in the next minute, let alone hour. That's pride. That's why everything we say, Lord willing, Lord Ratazar, we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Right? Most people, that's what they concern with. Buy, selling, get gain. Buy, selling, get gain. It's like a rat race. But when you slow down, when you... When I mean slow down, I mean when you slow down, when you get into these scriptures, you're able to see everything for what it is. This whole society for what it is and it's wicked. Esau doesn't want you to think, sit down, think and to read. Right? Because if, if the people were to sit down, take a break, that's why Esau has this system. People completely, completely, completely busy. You know, completely busy, completely distracted from what's really going on. Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even as a vapor. Okay, you don't even know what's going to be of tomorrow. That appear for a little time and then vanish away. For, for that you ought to say, if the Lord Jehoshai will, Lord Rataza, we shall live or do this or do that. That's the mentality of the elect we're going to have. Right? Point blank period. Right? These people got plans. But you're going to see them plans, all them plans, all them aspirations. You're going to see that, excuse me, all that's going to go out of the window very soon. Okay. And it's going to be a big, I t we told you so. Right. It's going to be a, oh no, how could this happen? Well, we were telling you. Okay. We were telling you about everything that's going to happen. The financial crash, um, 
martial law, the chip, um, rioting, mass death, famines. We were telling you of all these things, but what was you doing? You were shunning us, right? And this is going to continue to happen, right? Those that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, right? They're going to be what? Demonized, right? Looked at a certain way. But guess what? Yahweh Shai has covered his elect. All we got to do is continue to believe, right? Yeah, this place is going out with fire, right? America is going to be the first location to be hit, along with even the UK, London is going to be hit. Most of the main cities are going to be hit, right? So the best thing we can do is cleave unto your heart by Shem Yahweh Shai and trust in him, right? And as the scripture says in Matthew 6, 6 and 19, lay up for yourselves treasures not upon earth but in heaven. Lay up for yourselves treasures not up in earth but in heaven, where neither moss nor rust does corrupt, because all this is corrupted here. Everything is corrupted. You gotta be able to see beyond this place. Right? Things are going going to change. Things are changing drastically. Right? So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying and until the next time. Shalom.